Hey, this is Cameron, and welcome to the practice log. Alright, well, we got another morning session ahead of us, so let's go ahead and jump into it, shall we? Good morning, my alpha grinder friends. Uh, yeah, you guys ready to grind and just be intense and put it all on the line for this practice session? Let's do it. So I'm not going to talk for too long, because of course we're going to be reacting to something today. Uh, but you know, I'll talk about what I'm doing. I got some Bach that I need to work on, and then also some Soar. I'm gonna put a lot of effort into BWV 1001, because we're kind of in the home stretch with that one. But I would like to have the Presto down, and playable. Oh, that's worse. This game cleans. Uh, yeah, so, I'm gonna be doing all that, and that's pretty much it. And then I, I guess, um, I think we're due for a Bach video. I forget which one we did last, but we'll figure it out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into this one. So, let's go change seats again. Well, I'm gonna start with scales, as usual. Work on memory for everything, and I'll probably start with the Presto, and then move on to everything else. So, should be a pretty good one. I will see you on the other side. Yeah, I think that's probably enough practice for me today. Well, I've done a lot of stuff. I've actually been pretty productive. So, let me bring you closer. I'm sure that you're untrusting when I say that. Oh, hold on. But I'll go through everything. I changed some fingerings for the fugue, actually. That's hard for me to do. Let me just circle it so I know to be reminded by it. I did a lot of work on the presto. I think I'm just going to play the presto for you, and I'm just going to show you where the new fingerings are. And I'm gonna take it pretty slow, so I don't like flub them. I think I'm ready to, to show you them at the very least. So here's what we got. Not a performance, I don't care. I'm 
I'm just gonna go slow, I'm sorry. It's kind of weird. And then it keeps going like that. I'm sorry you had to hear that. But this is a practice log once again. So I've done a lot of performing for you recently. That's where it is. You'll see over the next like couple of days and weeks that presto will be, well, presto. Uh, I feel like such a chump playing that one, honestly. <laughs> hey, it, it's being worked on. It's... It's fine, it's whatever. I feel good about some of the other movements. All right, well, let's be done with practice for now. Let's go watch a little bit of something else. Something unrelated. You know what I'm getting into. All right, wow, look at those dolphins. Baka passionate life. This year, I got serious about my taxes. I met with the- God, taxes, I hate taxes. Am I right? <laughs> Who can relate? Yeah, you guys uh, remember when I reacted to the Protestant Reformation? I have no idea what's going on. Let's just go ahead and jump back into it. And of course, to the music of of course. The impact of the reformer Luther on the impressionable young Bach was immeasurable. It shaped his whole view of the world. It bolstered his sense of worth as a craftsman musician. The Protestant Reformation to Bach was like when the Black Parade dropped. The Black Parade or like City of Evil, then Sevenfold, that was the Protestant Reformation. It was just like mind blowing and shaped the rest of my life. Like, oh my God. And it reinforced his service to the church. Yeah, dude, same, but kind of the opposite. It's such an announcement, a proclamation of the arrival on earth of the Christ child. Relish the words, relish them. Don't snicker at that. What are you doing? Look at these nerds. <laughs> It's just all atheists. Every single one of them is atheists. You think any of them are Christian? I don't think so. There's no way. Just a bunch of heathens playing holy music. It's hilarious. That really is like modern society. People, none of these people believe in God <laughs> at all. I can tell. Just looking at him. Maybe she does. Let's see here. He doesn't. She don't. Uh, mm, I don't know. That's hard to say. That's a hard one. She might. She might, actually. Oh, she definitely does. She definitely believes in God. She does not. No. Bach's destiny was to become a musician. Music was. God, can they shut up out there? What is going on? That is straight up the worst music I've ever heard in my life. Okay, thank God it was a car. There, there's like a bunch of people lined up outside. I thought there was like some street concert going on of the worst techno music I've ever heard. That was terrible. And people are just bumping that in their car super loud. They go down the street. So many people just go down the street just blasting music and it fills the street. Ugh, it's so, so stupid that people do that. Also, people walking down the street, why do they have freaking speakers? Please don't take speakers in public. It's so annoying. It's it's like you're trying to offend everybody around you. Put in headphones, the sound quality will be better. It'll sound better to you. There's so many people around here that do that. Or in their car, they're just blasting music. When I drive, I have my headphones in. I don't care, I don't even use my stereo. Because it sounds better. I don't like blasting music from a stereo because it hurts your ears more because you have to turn it up to like hear all the frequencies. With headphones, I can keep it at a reasonable volume and it sounds good. That might be dangerous, don't do that. Like, I'm an idiot, don't do that, but you know. In the heart of the Thuringian forest. Thuringian. And I pronounced that right too. Remember when I used to do those Bach readings? I don't do that anymore because they're hard to make and, you know, they didn't do very well. And they provided a support system to each other and they carved up the different roles of organist and cantor and houseman, which is the head of the local wind band, between them. In fact, they became almost so important here that the word Bach and musician became synonymous. That's like their favorite fun fact. Did you know that uh, musicians in Thuringia were just called the Box? I read the first couple chapters of that book. I've heard that one. The Bach clan knew how to let their hair down and often got together for raucous family celebrations. Oh, shoot. This is like exactly just in the book. I think this might just be the same thing. Okay, they probably read it better than I do. They're going to do celebrations. They're going to sing together. Uh, what, what were the other fun facts in there? Sebastian, the youngest of eight brothers and sisters, was thus surrounded by music at home, in church, and in school. I have in my hand what was probably the most precious book of Bach's childhood. Certainly the one that he used every single day of his life until he left Eisenach. It's the Eisenachisches Gesangbuch, the songbook. The Gesangbuch, or the songbook, if you will. 
German words are funny. We can all agree on that, right? And it has wonderful copper engravings, which show David and Solomon in the temple, surrounded by their temple musicians. Whoa, that's epic. Dude, that looks like a Slayer album cover. That looks awesome. <laughs> that's so sick. This is so evil looking. This is amazing. Look at the black eyes. And the connections that Bach must have made in his mind between his family of the most famous musicians in the area with a long dynastic lineage going all the way back to Solomon. There's something about the Christian religion that I feel like works really well with like super epic music. Maybe it's because it's like monotheistic. Like there's a lot of epic music about like Greek mythology and stuff, but it just doesn't hit quite as hard as when you're singing about like the Christian God and like the devil and stuff. There, there's just, maybe it's because those religions are more like prevalent to us because of the Protestant Reformation and like they're just like the religions of the country that I'm in, the United States. Maybe they just feel a little more at home. It's pretty epic story though pretty epic characters in it i guess maybe like zeus is like the most powerful god i feel like yahweh feels so much more powerful though in the stories like he's like super duper powerful christian god is like completely overpowered like he's so so powerful compared to zeus i feel like zeus he was like pretty similar to just like a man but just like with superpowers the christian god is like this all-knowing like ghost god that knows everything and is everything it's just like Okay, this sounds like some deviant art character. <laughs> just Sonic the Hedgehog, but like has like every superpower ever and can create his own superpowers whenever he wants. It's like, oh, okay, so he just has everything. That's my opinion. I think the Christian God might be a little. They need to nerf him. They need to make him a little less powerful. He wrote so many masterpieces of sacred music. In the 19th century, religiously inclined writers liked to picture Bach as a saintly figure, a kind of fifth evangelist to match the goody two shoes image of his childhood. Heck no, dude. That's not our Bach. Our Bach's a bad boy. Bad Bach boy man. This is a book containing the records of Bach's school performance and it gives us his syllabus classes that he attended. In the third year he came 46 out of 89 pupils and what's more it tells us that he missed 96 separate classes. Wow. Dude heck yeah. Skip school bro. Yeah to all the kids out there. Bach skipped school so you know do you want to be Bach? I think we can end it there. Bach was a bad boy. There's a title in there somewhere. All right, cool. Well, so, any questions about that? Well, we can go ahead and wrap this one up. I think we've done enough today. So, let's do it. Hey, well, you know, if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe. Leave a like, all that stuff. Hey, want some guitar lessons? I offer guitar lessons. So, you know, if you're interested in that, just reach out in the description, email, all that stuff. Yeah, and of course, if you have a question about anything, you can just comment it and I will answer it in the chair. I make entire episodes out of that sometimes. So, you know, feel free to ask a question. All right, well, I'm gonna go start my day. I think a friend and I are gonna go hang out and play arcade games at an arcade bar. So, I'm gonna do that. I'll see you tonight.